Hey, Mac here for Tools. We are going to see what the difference is between the old 6 amp hour lithium plus HP battery against the new 6 amp hour HP battery. The main reason why I think there might be a big difference is because of the size. So I seriously want to find out. We're going to test out duration. We're going to test out power output. And we're also going to test out to see which one of these charges faster. So let's have a little bit of fun and just get to it. The 6 amp hour HP lithium plus battery's model number is P193. 6 amp hour battery at 108 watt hours it does have the hp connections on the back this is the new 6 amp hour hp battery the model number for this battery is pbp007 6 amp hour battery 108 watt hours and it does have the connections on the back really quick let's go over some of the tools we will be using in this video to see if they have the hp connection and the single handed reciprocating saw does not have those metal hp connections on the back Neither does the uh, HP impact driver. If you look under the base on the HP hammer drill, this does have the HP connections on the back. Full size reciprocating saw, if you look under the base, it also has the HP connections on the bottom. 6 amp hour HP battery, lithium plus is fully charged. This battery weighs 2 pounds and 0 0.8 ounces. And the new 6 amp hour HP fully charged battery weighs 1 pound and 11.1 .1 ounces. As you can see, the winner is the one that weighs the least. Let's test these batteries out on the air can. Let's see which one of these actually runs the longest on speed three. This is a very high demand fan. This is gonna drain these batteries within a few hours and we will see which one lasts the longest. And the six amp hour HP lithium plus battery lasted two hours and three minutes. Not too shabby for speed three. All right, let's switch the batteries out to the new HP battery. Let's see how long this battery lasts in this fan. two hours and 12 minutes compared to the two hours and three minutes. So that is a bit of a difference, especially for the size of the batteries. So far as we can tell, we are getting our money's worth when it comes to a smaller six amp hour battery. And as you can see, we have a winner for the most amount of runtime is the six amp hour HP battery compared to the lithium plus. In this concrete test, we will be using a 3 16 and half inch concrete drill bit. Hammer feature is activated and it is on speed two. This Ryobi HP brushless hammer drill actually has a fantastic hammer feature. It is actually one of the best hammer features out of all the uh, hammer drills that I have so far. Obviously this battery is struggling with this type of application comparing to the air cannon. And of course the best battery for this tool is the three amp hour battery with 21700 cells, but we're not doing that. So 16.16 .16 seconds for the six amp hour lithium plus let's switch out batteries battery is full i've almost done 700 videos so far you guys so i have a lot more videos on these tools than what you're seeing right now so go check them out i test these tools over and over again and see how well they do in long term wise the final numbers is 23.32 seconds compared to the lithium pluses 16.16 .16. and as you can see right here the lithium plus actually won this by a landslide for when it comes to this kind of test, lower the score, the better. Let's switch out batteries for the half inch concrete bit. Battery is still full on the six amp hour lithium plus. And like I said, like the, this tool does really respond well with the P195 three amp hour battery with 21700 cells. But the final numbers for the six amp hour lithium plus battery is 39.04 seconds. That's a bit slow, but the tool can do better with the different batteries. All right, so let's swap batteries out. Six amp hour HP battery is full. Let's see how this does with a half inch concrete bit. And the final number is 35.46 compared to 39.04. And as you can see, the new six amp hour HP battery won. We're using Makita XPS drip bits for this. We are doing a six inch flat lock. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. Up, oh, uh, the six amp hour lithium plus battery failed on speed two. Let's go to speed one and see how well this does. So the final number for this is 5.57 seconds. Not bad for the lithium plus. The battery is still full on the six uh, amp hour HP battery. Put it on speed two and let's see if what if this can get it done. It drove a little bit further, but still it failed. So let's go to speed one and see what the final numbers are. 5.37 seconds compared to 5.57 seconds. And as you can see right here, the newer HP 6 amp hour battery won. 
barely won, but still it won. We're gonna go on a speed one with the lithium plus six amp hour battery. Let's take this out. And the final numbers for that is 4.25 seconds. Let's swap batteries out. And the final numbers for that is 4.28 seconds compared to 4.25. So the winner for this one is the older lithium plus. And as you can see, the lithium plus is actually down one bar. We are using speed three on the imp of the new HP impact driver. We are driving in six inch by three eighth inch lags. And seeing how well this, this should be an easy task for this tool you guys like the new ryobi hp sub is are is actually good tools it is other more more powerful tools out there yes and the final notes for the lithium plus is 15.28 seconds let's swap batteries out see the battery on this one's still full compared to the lithium plus is down one bar And the final numbers for the 6 amp hour HP battery is 12.78 seconds compared to the 15.28. So the newer HP battery won this test. So let's take these legs out. Lithium plus goes first and the number for that is 1.93 seconds. Let's take out the new 6 amp hour. And wow, it already lost. Wow, this one struggled with that one. I'm not sure what happened, but the, those are the numbers. 5.66 seconds compared to 1.93. And as you can see, the older Lithium Plus won by a landslide. The older Lithium Plus battery is at three bars. We are going to switch over to the single hand reciprocating saw. Let's see how well this actually acts with the new tool. It's actually a pretty smooth cut. I was actually impressed. The straw horse was not vibrating that much. 19.04 seconds for the lithium plus and as you can see the newer 6 amp hour hp battery is still full when the lithium plus is down one bar let's pull the trigger and see what happens not too shabby not bad for single handed reciprocating saw 21.44 seconds compared to 1904 not too shabby at all you guys Let's switch over to the bigger reciprocating saw. Lithium Plus goes first. Battery is at three bars still. You can see the difference between the single-handed reciprocating saw and the full-size reciprocating saw. Big difference. The bigger ones actually plow through this like nothing. And it's a hard task. So 12.04 seconds for the Lithium Plus. Battery is still at three bars. And the newer 6 amp hour HP battery is at full bars still. I will say that this new Ryobi HP reciprocating saw is operating better and smoother than the first test video I did on it. And the final numbers for the new 6 amp hour HP battery is 10.97 seconds compared to 12.04. And as you can see, the newer HP battery won. Not too shabby. If you guys didn't get it by now, the W means win. Three bars on the Lithium Plus and the, uh, the newer version is still at full bars. All right, so this test, we are going to be doing the Ryobi 18 volt shop vac. This is a very high demand tool when it comes to battery consumption. And we'll see how long that these batteries will actually run for. A toilet paper just to help visualize the suction. So 16 minutes and change. So between 17, 16 and 17 minutes, that battery ran for. Let's weigh the battery while it's dead while we're at it. And not much, not much of a difference. It's pretty much almost the same as a fully charged battery. The newer six amp hour HP battery is next and the battery is full. We're gonna reset the clock. I used to use this vacuum all the time, but it just too bad just dust comes out of the seams like crazy now i'm not sure what happened if i didn't notice that when i first bought it so the new 6 amp hour hp battery lasts between 17 and 18 minutes older lithium plus lasted 16 to 17 minutes and the final temperature of the battery is 114 degrees a real difference in fully charged batteries just like you guys know and for the final test let's see which one of these batteries charges faster they both go on at the same time they both are depleted and as you can see right here, there is a major difference between these two. They both seem to catch up with each other. But in the end, the newer 6 amp hour HP battery does prevail on charging quicker. And right about now, it is done. And the Lithium Plus is still charging. 
it's roughly about 14 to 16 more minutes to charge than the newer 6 amp hour HP battery. All right, so as you guys can see, there really isn't that big of a difference between these two. Yes, this battery won some and this battery won some, but a 6 amp hour battery is a 6 amp hour battery. Both of these have 18650 cells. Both of them have the HP connection in the back. Now, why don't like the high demand tools like the impact driver, single handed reciprocating saw have the HP connections in the back? So the HP batteries won't use the HP function in the tools that don't have the HP connection under the base. I was curious because there is a big size difference. So it, it, in my opinion, it's not too shabby. Real, Real B was successful at making a smaller six amp hour battery that performs pretty much just as well as this. Yeah, this this one uh, lost some, it won some, this one lost some, it won some, but just based on the size difference, totally worth it. I would 100% use this over this one just because of the weight and size. After I posted the size difference of this in my community page, a lot of people actually commented that they want to see a versus video for this. And so based on that, I did a versus video. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.